friends, welcome back to my channel, to the last video that I film of 2021. I'm still poorly, yeah, but I'm here, I'm queer, get used to it. I've got my fan because my temperature is higher than my self-loathing today. Sorry if you can hear that. So if you follow my channel, thanks, I love ya. I do a lot of piercing, well not, not so many piercing, I do a lot of body mod vlogs, so like mainly tattoos because I get a lot of tattoos. But as I work in a tattooist, when we get bored we tend to tattoo each other or pierce each other and, and I get cheap or free tattoos now. <laughs> so. I've had a lot of tattoos and piercings that I haven't vlogged either because they've been impulse or too small to make a vlog out of it or I just haven't really felt like it or one I did vlog and I lost the footage. There are various reasons of why Emily sucks and hasn't vlogged these body mods but my god like I know my fringe is always wonky but come on like I'm poorly today. I do not want to wear a wig today but my, my real hair is um, I'm trying to wash the purple out so that I can try a new brand of hair dye. That'll be coming soon, I'm excited for that. So let's get down and dirty, sexy and flirty and talk about the body mods that Emily Boo got in 2021 that she didn't vlog for you. Oh my nurse, my nurse, someone sent me some Cavornia. So these are in no particular order, but I'm gonna tell you the little stories of what I got, how I got them, how I came to get them. So I'm gonna start off with my little ghosty tattoo. I got a little ghosty on my leg by one of the apprentices at the studio that I work at. Yeah, we were bored at the studio one day and I was like, do you want to tattoo me? And you know, practice, I was like, bribing him. Like, it's like, oh, it's practice, isn't it? Practice because you're an apprentice, you know? Like, I just wanted a tattoo. <laughs> we both got something out of it. Um, yeah, so he got to do a little ghosty on my leg and he is an apprentice and he's a very new apprentice so the lines are not perfect but I kind of like that because it makes him more wobbly. I would like to say I would get him gone over in the future but I, I know me and I know that I won't. <laughs> He'll just stay like a wibbly wobbly ghost forever. But when it was done I was like, nah, we're missing something, we're missing something. Give him eyebrows. So we put these little uh, like angry brows on. I was like, perfect. So that is how I got my little ghosty, grumpy ghost. And he's really cute. And I think for a not tattooing long apprentice, I think it's pretty good. So a little bit round from my ghost, I have a tooth. A tooth. A tooth. I have a tooth on my leg. Just a super, super cute little tooth, but he has a cute story behind him. So I took part in a interweb series, interweb, in, in, internet series with a brand called Frida. They are a very big brand that like to promote, that like to promote people that d do something good or look a certain way and they're a really really good brand so they reached out to me and they were like could we do could we possibly do um like a little episode on you and I was like down for this I loved it so they came to my house they filmed a little like five minute ten five ten minute episode on me all about my life about why I look the way I do to jazz up the footage they were like well you work in a tattooist could you go and get tattooed? And I arranged with one of the tattooists that if we come in, can I have like a just a little tattoo? And they would film it. And that's exactly what happened. And the tattooist, Billy, took this really great picture of it being tattooed with the camera. And, uh, and it was really, really cool. I was really glad to take part in it. The video is up on their page, um, but I, oh, I'm gonna be sound like such a dick here. I watched like 30, I haven't actually seen it because when it came out I was suffering from really bad self-loathing and I hated how I looked in it so much that I haven't seen it. So what happens when you hate yourself. So, you know, you go and watch it, just don't tag me in it. So, but but huge thank you to all the team, they were, were absolutely lovely. And when I'm feeling better about myself I will definitely watch it. You know, it was something I took part in and people put a lot of hard work into it and I will I just hate myself and looking at yourself when you think you look even uglier than usual is not fun my self-esteem plummeted more than Peloton did after the first Sex in the City episode should we have a piercing I got my nose pierced a couple of you noticed because I think I had it for one video my eye will not stop watering bro come on I put too much highlighter on as well looks like I got bruises yeah so I got my nose pierced and I had it for one video I think I had the piercing itself for about a week 
and then I took it out and it has left a scar. Honestly, I had it in for a week, guys. This is why you should think before you get pierced. It was such an impulse and I was out with my friend around Ipswich and I had to go and get a piece of jewellery changed. So we went to a studio that I know very, very well and when we were there, I was just like, I really fancy a piercing. I really fancy a piercing too. Shall we get a piercing? Let's get piercings. I mean, my friend got piercings. My friend got her eyebrow done, and I think it's doing great. And I got a second nose piercing just in front of this one. I have a picture because I don't have it anymore. And I had it for about seven days, seven to ten days, I can't remember. And then I started to get an irritation bump. I have never had an irritation bump that soon on a piercing. Usually they take a few weeks to pop up, but the fact that it popped up that soon, I was like, I'm not having this. I'm not do I'm not going through this. I'm not I'm not doing it and I was I just took it out. And I know irritation bumps are caused by irritation, so you can get rid of them, but I have gone through so much with my other nose piercings to get them to settle down and I was like, I'm not going through that again. It also fucking hurt it was so painful it because it's like thicker tissue there and it just I, I, that it was not the one okay saying that I do want mantis piercings like the nose piercings that come out the front of your nose I'm just so worried that they would be wonky because they're slap bang in the middle of your face there would be no escape from that wonkiness with the like uh, my wonky fringe is a part of me, but I don't want a wonky front nose piercings. Should we do another piercing? Should we do another piercing? This one you might be able to see. It is my lip, and I did, disclaimer, body piercer, I did pierce it myself. And I did TikTok it, so if you're on TikTok, and you can see me pierce my own lip. Um, I do not recommend piercing your own lip. I don't recommend piercing yourself at all. I used to pierce myself all the time. And now that I've gotten older, I can look back and I'm like, I'm left with so many scars from misdone piercings, ones that were done at terrible angles, ones that were not done in a clean, safe environment. It's just not worth it. I know that piercing yourself on TikTok is a bit of a trend, and I see people do it and afterwards they're like, oh look, it looks great, see, I did it, it was worth it, I'm glad I didn't go to professional. Honestly, that is the easiest part. The hardest part of a piercing is healing it. If you use cheap jewellery, unsterile equipment, if you get the angle wrong, there is so much that can go wrong that you won't immediately see. It will be a few weeks down the line and then you'll notice all these problems. And people on TikTok don't show you that, do they? They just show you that they got a piercing. Yes, I realize I'm a bit of a hypocrite because I did titty talk my own lip piercing, but it was done in a studio and I know what I'm doing and I know what I'm doing, guys. <laughs> so I pierced my own lip. I wasn't going to, I was just at work one day and I was like, Ugh, I am, um, I want a piercing. <laughs> I want a face piercing. I am considering taking it out because I did it on such an impulse and I kind of forgot that the reason that I took it out, I took all my lip piercings out last time, was not only that I became a mum and I thought that's what mums do, I actually took them out because I was so worried about tooth damage because they do hit the back of my teeth. Not so much this one because I've had it so long, I have the tightest bar in the world in it. This one does because it's still new. I'm considering either taking it out and getting double verticals here because that way they won't touch my teeth and I can still have the same look or fuck it and just pierce the other side and I would like to put rings in them so my goal is to put a ring in this once it's fully healed it's doing really well at the minute it's doing really <laughs> yeah, in case you didn't catch that it's doing really well at the minute I really don't want to jinx it but when I talk I do feel it hit the back of my teeth and um I can put a shorter bar in there but I do, but at the same time I do like longer bars because I like to play with them and then that obviously damages my teeth more. That's one reason why I want to put a ring in it because I won't be able to play with it as much. I don't know, I'm just terrible when it comes to piercings. I think I'll probably end up taking it out and getting verticals. And before people say, didn't you have like, didn't you have a procedure done to remove your piercing scars? Yes, I did. And yes, it was a lot of money and yes, it was painful. That was on my top lip, so if you don't know what I'm talking about. I had a procedure done to remove piercing scars from my top lip. 
because top lip scars are very very obvious and I see loads of people getting like the vampire fangs seems to be like the big TikTok trend at the minute and I'm like when you take them out just because I've been there when you take them out you're gonna have two holes that are not gonna look very nice. And to be fair, I had four holes, so it was a lot more obvious. Yeah, I wouldn't do that again. I do want, I do actually want my top lip pierced again, but I will not go down that road. This went through an old piercing hole that I had. I don't know if you can see, excuse my wonky lipstick, I'm ill, leave me alone. I have lots of piercing scars. I have lots of piercing scars on my bottom lip from old piercings and I literally just went through one of those holes and so it wasn't essentially making a new piercing it was opening up a very 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 healed over old one because even when your piercings close or they you leave your piercing jewelry out the hole on the outside the tissue if you had the piercing for a while the tissue is just the tissue is permanent you can try and hide your past but it'll always show through should we do uh, I've got a list on my phone because I knew I was gonna gonna forget because I've had a lot done let's have an accidental tattoo and uh, like a proper I've just thought of a tattoo that I got that isn't on this list god this is why I had to write a list see this this little dot purely accidental not like how my mum says to me you're an accident it's like a it was an accident I was getting another tattoo which I'll talk about in a second I got the other tattoo at Cosmic and they were just joking so freaking much about really stupid stuff that I laughed so hard and I punched the tattoo machine the tattooist had the gun in his hand and he was like facing away from me so there was no no way that I could actually do it and he was like talking and we were all laughing and joking and I don't know what I did but I got up and I laughed so much and I just went <laughs> and then sudden, suddenly it was pain and I looked and I was like oh my god accidental tattoo and it's really deep and it has and the ink has bled because it is so deep and it is just a little dot that is an accidental tattoo of a time that I laughed so much I punched a tattoo machine yeah like tattoo machine holded me <laughs> I quite like it though like it luckily it went in kind of a, a space that it looks like it's almost on purpose and it reminds me that I was laughing so much and having such a good time oh my god I'm so tired I'm not gonna film another video until I'm feeling better but I wanted to get this one up like end of the year tattoos I didn't vlog so let's talk about the tattoo I was getting when I accidentally punched a tattoo machine some of you have noticed this already I've had a lot of comments so here we go the big reveal excuse me flabby arm there it is guys my villains tattoo I I did get Facilier and Lady Tremaine. I asked you guys what in my last villains tattoo vlog I was like I don't know what villains to get what can I do I had a good long think about it and I actually went with Lady Tremaine I said if we have space I'll put Facilier on there just because I don't I don't this is really weird I feel like the animation in Princess and the Frog is quite lazy like the frogs are drawn not as detailed and when Facilier gets taken into the grave if you look at the puppets and everything they're really not drawn very well okay they're drawn better than I could draw but they seem cheap and they and that always kind of I love 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 the film I love Princess and the Frog but that always made it a bit like I feel like they didn't bother as much on that film compared to other Disney films. It's almost like a, a sequel that goes straight to DVD. But I do love the film and I do love Facilier and he's really creepy. So I decided to go with Lady Tremaine and we did the outline and I, I think he put the outline on bigger but because of the ball of my shoulder it just didn't work. So we made her a bit smaller and then I had this gap and I was like ha <laughs> now I can get another character so that's exactly what I did got another character got Facilier and I am glad that I have him there I don't have any more appointments booked because I'm a broke bitch but I hopefully will be booking an appointment in the new year to get it finished I need a day session and it will be all done um, I think I got Yzma finished I think that bit will be the toughest but it should be a breeze because up here doesn't hurt really at all but one more day and it will be done so if anyone wants to get me a day sitting at Cosmic that would be great thanks <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm too poor to afford it. So what happened is I did vlog it, I vlogged the whole thing, and I sat down to edit it, and I was like, this is freaking deja vu. All the footage I got was exactly the same, because I do, admittedly, I do have my own vlog style. I like to vlog doors opening and stepping onto the train and the Colchester sign. And I got all my footage and I was like, this is exactly the same as what you guys have already seen multiple times. Because every time I go and have a session on this arm, I vlog it. And I was just like, it's, it's been done. It's been done. But I didn't want to give you guys copy and paste vlog that you've already seen a million times. So I thought, you know what? I'll skip the vlog. That's what actually gave me the idea to do this video. And I was like, I can talk about it in this video. It's just the outline. And I can resume vlogging it again when I have my last session. And that will bring it all together. So it'll be a bit more interesting. Hopefully. So that's what I'm going to do. I did vlog it. I ended up deleting it. And hopefully in the new year sometime, I'll be able to bring you the last vlog on it. We left this here. This is from my old laser tattoo. And that brings me on nicely to this. My doll face. So I started having laser tattoo removal on my doll face tattoo years ago. I believe the video may maybe up on my channel we are talking years we're talking like six years ago and i was getting charged 80 something pound 89 90 quid to have this lasered now laser tattoo removal laser tattoo removal i have learned is a ripoff it does work but i have so we do it at my studio and this is after one session <sighs> I have since learned that most laser tattoo removal places turn the pulses down so that you, you see enough results but not enough to like really fade it because that way they can charge you more. I was getting charged 80, we'll say 80, 80 quid a session for this and I had one or two sessions and it didn't do anything. It didn't do anything. And then I had one session at work and we cranked that machine up after I'd had a test patch and look, one session. I could have that covered. I could have that covered now. I might have one more session just because it's free. And <laughs> just to get it a, a tiny, tiny, tiny bit lighter. But after I have my Disney villains done, I will then be able to start my trick or treat sleeve, which I'm gonna get this gone over. I'm gonna get Sam, Sam's face here. We're gonna use this gap here to bring it together. And because trick or treat is black and orange, I'm gonna use that orange to just kind of black and orange smoke up here and really just bring it all together. And I'm so excited to start that. I have these like big gaps that I really wanna get tattooed in and I'm just like, no, oh, just hold out. It will be worth it. Should we do some more piercings? I got my nipple pierced this year and I did vlog it. I did vlog it. And then I uploaded the footage privately, the actual footage of it being done privately to YouTube. And I couldn't hide it in a way that you wouldn't see my nipple because God forbid a nipple. You, I just, I tried so many different ways because I put the camera like slap bang there. I put like stickers over it, but you could still see the majority of my boobage that YouTube just would not monetize that clip. And I tried everything and because it wouldn't monetize it, I was like, I can't put time and effort into this vlog if I'm not gonna get anything back from it. And I know that sounds quite like, YouTube is my job, so I would essentially be working a few days for free. And I can't afford to do that when that time and, and that when that time and energy could be going into another vlog that I could live from, that I can pay my bills from. But, but I have a secret, secret Patreon meetup coming up at the end of January in London, and me and my patrons are going to get piercings. You still have time to join it if you live in London and. You want to join my Patreon for all the details? Do it. Ching! I found an amazing studio and I'm going to get my nipples pierced. I'm not sure if I'm going to do one or both because I took them out. I really, really want them done again because my boobs are not fitting in this bra. I've put the wrong bra on. I'm starting to love my boobs again. Um, I got them tattooed, which I need to get gone over. Don't get me started on that. And I, I just want them pierced. I want them pierced again. They make me feel really sexy. 
and there is something about nipple piercings that just boosts your confidence it made me fall in love with my boobs again because all of a sudden it was like oh my god it was like the scene in love actually where Kira Knightley's like oh I'm actually quite pretty <laughs> like that and I just I want that again so I will be getting either one or both of them done at my secret Patreon meetup yes yeah, so if you're in London I shouldn't be telling you this this is a secret so if you're in London at the end of January and you can afford and you want to get pierced follow it I will vlog the nipple piercing too um I would just go about it different and maybe just show my face <laughs> instead of like full nipple edge but my patrons are getting pierced as well so there'll be like loads of us getting pierced and I think that'll be a super fun vlog okay I have one slash two more piercings and then we'll get on to the rest of the tattoos I've actually had quite a lot this year haven't I these are just the ones that I didn't vlog so the last piercings I got were my ears I got excuse my wig I got my I re-pierced my third holes in both ears but this one fell out when I was asleep so my plugs are my first ones oh another body mod I just remembered I am stretching my ears again I am vlogging that oh, th see that wasn't on my list that wasn't on my list but it, oh because I am vlogging it that'll be up in a few months because I'm doing it very slow and steady so these are my first holes my I have little rings in my stretched second holes which I could put plugs in but I choose not to and then my third hole uh, but this one fell out when I was asleep check your jewelry guys check it right now let's have a little break we need some elevator music how many pieces of your jewelry were loose so I didn't check this one I'm afraid and ear piercings can come undone when you wash your hair when you sleep I do sleep I did sleep on this side and I think it just came undone in the night. I lost it. That's fine. I can do it again. But I um, I got my third in this one. I got a little bar in this one. And I did TikTok these. Again, I'm a piercer. I know what I'm doing. I really like them. I want to go, I want to do another set in each year. But I can't do cartilage piercings. My body just doesn't heal them. I know my nose. This has taken long enough. Ear cartilage, my body doesn't heal. No matter how many times I have it done. I've had every piercing you can have in your ears and my body's just like, nap, nap, <laughs> nap. So I'm not gonna bother, but I have enough tissue, like loose skin tissue that I can have one more set, like just about. So I'm gonna do that. Yeah, it sucks that I lost one because I, I like to be, I like to be symmetrical, which is annoying me about my lip as well. Until I know what I'm going to do, if I'm going to do verticals or horizontals, I, I, I don't want to do that. And then I have the scar. I have the scar ready to ready and waiting to go. I just don't know if I want to do it and then take it out and then do these. I've never had a vertical lip piercing, so that it's kind of scaring me that it goes through something. Like going that way, it just seems like it's, you know, it's tissue, like it's skin. I've had it done a million times. But going that way, it goes through a lip and that scares me. So yeah, I realized I was talking about my ear and I just got back onto my lip. I can't remember what I was talking about. So that leads us to the last two tattoos that I got this year. One of them, I TikToked and the other one, no one has noticed. Shows you how much you like me. So the first one is this candle on my wrist. I did TikTok this. I got it done at work purely so we could promote the studio. So at the studio I work, we have this gumball machine and the apprentice was doing 30 pound tattoos. Oh, I get comfy. You put 50p in, they even gave you the 50p. And you turn it and you get this random mystery tattoo. You don't know what you're gonna get, it's a complete surprise. And we did it, and I did I got this tattoo purely to promote that machine. I got the little candle, little candle. I was just so excited to like he was just like, Shall we do you want to get a tattoo and we'll just, you know, promote the machine? I wish I'd have got it somewhere different. I hadn't shaved my legs. Um, otherwise I would have got it on my leg and I was just like, oh, okay, okay, yeah, we'll put it there. I don't hate it, but I just wish I'd got it somewhere else. It was done by an apprentice and I think he did pretty good. We have two apprentices at my work, so I'm always there ready and willing to get free tattoos to help out the guys. Because <laughs> I know when they're like really big and they've learned to tattoo, I'll be the one that'll be like, that like, you helped me out when I was, you know, learning. Oh, I'll get some free tattoos. I'm selfish, yo. <laughs> I donated my body to science. And then the last tattoo I got in 2021 that I did not vlog. No one noticed it. I got mushrooms on my hand. 
with a little spider. Where's the spider? You can't even see. It's so hard to see. There's the spider and the mushrooms. This was done by a really, really good artist at my work called Nicole Boitas Hayworth. Proper gangster. For, she's from Philadelphia. So all I do is sit at work and ask her questions about Americano. She tattooed this for my birthday and it is a really ornate garden mushroom but she got these neon pigments in and she really wanted to test them and of course I was like yeah let's do it <laughs> and it doesn't last forever I'm afraid it does fade I don't even think you can tell on my camera but in real life there is a like a neonness to it it just looks brighter than like I have orange here and so like the oranges together, standard orange is quite flat, but this neon is like a highlighter pen. I love how it turned out. I think it suits me and I do need to get my fingers tattooed now. But fuck finger tattoos because that shit hurts. So that is it for all the piercings and tattoos I got in 2021 that I didn't vlog. There is one more that you may be able to see. And I did get it a couple of weeks ago now, and I did vlog it, so it will be up in a few weeks, but as of right now, it hasn't gone up on my channel, so I don't know if I can include that one because I technically did vlog it, but it'll go up in 2022. So keep an eye out for that vlog, because I've just messed my face up with more ink. But that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching my 2021 Body Mods I Did Not Vlog video. This was fun. I was looking forward to doing this video because when you get so many as I do, you definitely forget. And it's nice to take a little look back and be like, yeah, like, so that's the story behind that one. Though I love to get random tattoos and I'm very impulsive, all these impulsiveness tattoos have a little story behind them. Like, we got it to promote a gumball machine. I helped a, an apprentice out. I was on an internet series and I got this one. I forget those stories until I sit down and I tell you about them. So this was fun, so thank you. Thank you for letting me relive, relive those memories. Now I'm gonna go and have a lay down and take a lot of paracetamol. Not too many paracetamol, like don't be calling the police on me, I'm fine. I'm just gonna take two or the recommended daily allowance. Um, <laughs> that got weird. But I will see you guys very, very soon. Hopefully when I'm feeling and looking a lot better. I hope that 2022 is the year for you. Obviously I say that knowing full well that COVID will destroy any plans that we all have this year. That's it guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you very soon with another video. Much love boobs, take care of yourself, and most of all, stay weird.